The WeBuild S by Zhu Win. That's a three axis gimbal designed for mainstream mirrorless and DSLR cameras. But it's way more than just that. Some people will call it the perfect gimbal because it is so powerful, but not that large and heavy and perfectly fits the advertised headline, the tiny giant. It brings outstanding stabilization, easy to use modes, wireless transmission from the camera you stabilize to your phone, and even mechanical zooming and focusing. Will it become a game changer? Let's inspect! Hey, welcome tech for all channel, my name is Michael and I love inspecting cool tech. My YouTube place is mostly focused on smaller devices that can take footage, but I often use a mirrorless camera to shoot all these reviews and some other things. And because for a long time I never found good, not too heavy gimbal, I wasn't taking the GH5 outdoors too often. The Webill S is in service for a month now and it will likely take me some more time to fully get used to all the features. But what I've discovered for these weeks of testing, that's what we are going to talk about today. And maybe the Webill S is indeed a kind of a game changer. Many will compare it to the Ronin SC, but there are some essential differences between both, which in my opinion make the Webill S way more favorable. This review is based on everything I've discovered about the full package. The gimbal with its most important accessories costs $439, which is $20 more than the Ronin SC. You can add a few extremely useful upgrades, the Transmount Servo, which is a remotely controlled zoom and focus controller, a solid phone holder and the so-called Transmount, which is real-time image transmission module. The most upgraded version costs $679 and right now, at least at this budget, is quite a unique offering. Keep in mind that before ordering any of these add-ons, it is good to check on Zhuin's website whether your camera supports them, because there are brands that don't have much of presence. For example, I use Panasonic, and the page luckily says that the GH5 is supported, and so should be it, because it is one of the most common mirrorless video cameras, and the one I use for testing right now. Let's take a look at what's inside the box, and it will take us a while, because it is a lot. I got my unit from Pergear, which are one of the biggest stores on Amazon for camera equipment. And you can find the purchase link below. And this large thing is the retail box containing all the additional extras we've mentioned. Because it contains really a lot, there are a few leaflets to remind and advertise what is to be expected. We start with the gimbal, and the first piece to fall out is of course the user guide. I strongly recommend you to get the electronic edition, because in the last few weeks there have been some additions to the content. The gimbal is placed in this foam case, and even the standard package comes with quite a lot of things. Bunch of cables as a start. Then these two 18650 batteries, Zhuin labeled, and this is exactly what probably every DJI user dreams about, replaceable batteries that you can buy for a reasonable price. You have the freedom to purchase any kind of these. I strongly recommend to get a cell made in Japan from a brand with good reputation, or even better, purchase batteries from Zhuin directly. The charger included has a Type-C port, and to me that's a positive indicator that it's not yesterday's technology being repacked. In fact, nothing about the Webill S is. Some extra plates and the gimbal itself. Without a camera, with the original tripod, it weighs exactly 1,190 grams, which is not too heavy. Now, the real problem with weight comes after mounting the cameras, because full frame bodies and glasses are usually pretty heavy. So, in that sense, having the GH5, which is a micro four thirds camera, helps me to keep the weight within very reasonable dimensions. The three axes that you see have a mechanical lock, very nice idea and very useful for transportation and balancing. Most remarkable about the gimbal is the size. Super compact, and if carried without all the accessories, fits in pretty much any camera bag or backpack. I already got two favorite features. It is amazing how easy it is to change the way to hold the gimbal, even on the go without shooting down or recalibrating. And the freedom this gives you is incomparable with all the stick-based way of holding. And the other one, and it is crazy, they've had this motion control in some previous models, but for product videography it is actually great to not longer have to gently press buttons or repeat operations, 
or try the same shot like a few times until it gets good. Yeah, controlling zoom or the focus is pretty neat. In terms of operation, it of course supports most of the shooting modes that you need. As for buttons, focus and zoom control wheel, which we mentioned, the side buttons to switch the follow modes, control panel and trigger button. The control panel is very precise and with the right kind of camera, you can count on full control, focusing, zooming, shutter, even control for various picture parameters. And because most of the gimbals can stabilize pretty well, let me focus now on the additional features which are not present with most of the other models of that class. First thing, balancing, which is eased by all these locking mechanisms, and you can balance the axis one by one. The plate is amazing, you can remove the camera within seconds and put it back without having to balance. Same concept Zhuin have applied with the Smooth Q2 for smartphones. Looks like a pattern. But this one is even better because the plate is compatible with some tripod mounts, meaning that you can use the same plate and switch between handheld and static. When balancing, I personally prefer to note down the values for some of my favorite combinations between body and lenses. It saves a lot of time. The motors are now way more powerful, with up to 300% more torque and better responsiveness. I want to show you now some of the other extras. This is the video image transmitter, almost real time. The delay is only a few hundred milliseconds and unlike most transmitters of that kind, doesn't need a dedicated monitor. It actually uses your smartphone. Just open the app, select the transmitter module, connect to the Wi-Fi and you've got the image. The other big news is this focus motor. Felt like perfect fit to me because I've always preferred manual focus. Having Panasonic camera with not so great autofocusing system, I never trust it and being able to focus is really nice. The more I was using the gimbal, the better it was getting and the faster I was able to get the desired results. As you maybe noticed so far, I haven't talked much about stabilization capabilities or the battery life or responsiveness of motors and all the common gimbal features because all of them are present and the Webuild S is close to perfection about these. Fine Tuning allows you to adjust the performance according to your own needs and let's take a look at some of the app features. There are two different modes to use, one which controls the gimbal in depth and another one which is special mode for the transmitter. There only are three things I found to moderately criticize. The screw for the plates. It is a screwdriver or a coin. The battery cover feels unwell and the side micro USB port for the transmitter seems to not leave enough space for the connector and I've slightly modified it by making it thinner. Perhaps that would work without the modification too, but I didn't feel comfortable applying any additional pressure. So other than that, you can make amazing shots and handle almost any common DSLR or mirrorless camera and with all the extra features supported, you're well equipped to make pro-grade footage. I think the most important bit is the form factor with this unique shape and design which allows you to use it anywhere and eliminates the need for add-ons like Ronin S's sling grip or a duo grip. And that's the Weeble S, my dear friends, and this is the gimbal I will mostly use from now on. In case there is something that you didn't see during the video and you still want to ask about, shoot in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching this review, come back for more soon, and in order not to miss any discount, check the description below the video. Make sure to hit these like and subscribe buttons, means a lot to me, so thank you in advance, take a good care of yourself, and I'll see you soon.